I will start this exercise by quickly examining the provided uh, mass diagram. I can identify two large balance uh, zones in this project as shown. We are given the economical hole distances of the three earth moving equipment types used in this roadway project, the dozers, scrapers and trucks. In part A, we need to draw the uh, balance lines of the subzones of these equipment. I can draw the uh, 200 meter economical hole distance of the dozers as shown, and I will allocate this balance zone subzone to dozers 1. The 600 meter economical hole distance of the scrapers can fit under the diagram as shown to mark the subzone of the scrapers in the first big zone. Although the trucks can economically haul up to 1600 meters, but the remaining part of zone 1 will only require them to haul the soil for around 730 meters. We can mark the balance lines for the equipment in the second zone following the same logic. Part B requires calculating the total hole quantities for the scrapers and trucks in both uh, subzones. Let's mark the hole quantity of each uh, equipment in each uh, zone as shown. Although it's not required, but I will sh also show the hole quantities for uh, the dozers. Now let's calculate each of these quantities. The scrapers total hole quantity equals QS1 and QS2. QS1 and QS2 equal the mass ordinate height differences between the scraper and the dozer balance lines in the first and the second zones. By finishing the uh, calculations, we find that the scrapers are responsible for moving 2150 bank cubic meters in this project. We can follow a similar process for the trucks and calculate their total hole quantity to be 1900 bank cubic meters. Part C requires calculating uh, the whole distances of the dozers and scrapers in zone 1. We know that the average whole distance is calculated by dividing the mass diagram area over the whole quantity. We can visualize the mass diagram area of the scrapers and dozers as AS1 and AD1. So we can apply the formula to calculate the average hole distance AHD for the scrapers and dozers in the first zone. The mass diagram area of the dozers equal the area of the hatched uh, symmetrical triangle with a base 200 meters and mass ordinate height of 600 meters. So we get AD1 to be 60,000 bank cubic meter meter. From part B, we know that uh, QD1 equals 600 bank cubic meters, so we will get 100 meters average hole distance for the dozers. For the scrapers, we will need to use the trapezoidal area computation to deal with its compound shape. I'm showing here the trapezoidal uh, area calculations following the process we learned in the previous lesson on earthwork quantity calculations. By the end of the calculations we get 390,000 bank cubic meter meter for AS1. When we apply the AHD formula we get 433.33 
average hole distance for the scrapers in the first zone. The last part of this exercise requires calculating the average hole grade for the scrapers in the first zone. We are given the elevation change EC for the scrapers to be 30 meters between their cut and fill areas. We will apply this formula to calculate the average grade by dividing EC over AHD values for the scrapers. By doing this simple calculation, we find that the scrapers will have an average hole grade of 6.9%. This is the end of this exercise. In future videos, we'll see how the average hole distance and grade affect the operation productivity and unit cost.